Now, five things to do for you to arise. What will I arise from? Number one, God is saying, arise from every form of complacency. Arise from the place of complacency. Amos chapter 6 verse 1. Bible say, Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. Woe means punishment to every Christian woman in this season that is at ease in Zion. Until you arise, you may not be able to carry the power. That is actually what God, the summon of what God says, I should tell you. So you must arise in order for you to carry the power. All these demons operating in Africa, they don't hear English language very well. They don't hear Igbo very well. They don't hear Yoruba. They don't hear. What they hear is the language of power. And you cannot operate from the place of complacency. And you say you are commanding every, any demon. The demon may deal with you. Are we still in the house? So you must arise. To arise means to leave your comfort zone. This place where you balance and you are so comfortable, God will want you to move from your comfort zone. This thing you like doing and you are so satisfied with doing it and you've been doing it as a procedure, as a religious program in this house. God will want you to adjust your seat belt. I'm a lady who shout out about food at this time. What are we talking about? God wants somebody in the house to arise from the place of complacency. Rising from the place of complacency means that you are missing from the crowd. They will not be finding you where the crowd. Exodus 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not join the multitude. If you want me to stop there, I will stop there. Say, thou shalt not join the multitude. And then it continuation to do evil. That is to say you are not supposed to live like the multitude. You are not supposed to do the things the multitude are doing. There has to be a difference. You must stand out. We cannot be finding you where they are. If you are still where they are, that means Christian woman, you have not started. And the Lord God Almighty sent me as his own damsel to come and announce to you, it is time to arise. It's the time to jettison laziness. There is no grace in the place of laziness and complacency. No grace. No grace. Yet there is grace when you engage yourself for God to ride upon you and do what he wants to do. There is grace when you decide to live for purpose. There is grace when you decide to walk in holiness. There is grace when you decide to walk in power. He says in the book of James, God resisted the proud and gave grace to the humble. I run a daily devotional every morning on the YouTube for three years now, from death midnight every morning. And I remember in one of the this in, uh, one of the ministration or one of the charge I was giving to the, to the global audience, and I said to them, God is in opposition against the proud. God is fighting with the proud. God is in enmity with the proud. But when he sees the humble, he releases grace. Pours it upon you so that you begin to do the things you could not do in the time past. Arising from the place of complacency means that though you will not be where you used to be. After this conference, we will not find you where you used to be. But you are going to be where God has destined you and proposed you to be. Let that amen be more livelier. It's time to arise. Not giving of first critics. Not telling stories. People who are in the place of complacency, they, they, they love stories. Akoko. Somebody help me say Akoko. Akoko. For how long? Ania Kagadabaga dosh. For how long? Woman! For how long? Time. 
the rats. Ah. John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. They follow me and I give unto them eternal life. When you come out of the place of complacency, you can hear the voice of me. Than hearing the voice of me. Than hearing your own voice. Some women, they like listening to themselves. They define our gift. I listen to themselves. And when you come out of the place of complacency, you can begin to hear from you. You can begin to hear from you. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, woman in the house, and shine. For the light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And if you go further, the darkness will cover the earth. Thick darkness, the people. Then my glory shall be risen upon you. Woman in the house, it is time to advance. Leave your comfort zone. That is what God sent me to announce to you. Leave your comfort zone. For how long? Will you be sleeping like ordinary human beings? For how long will you be living like your next neighbor? For how long will you be doing it the way they do it? Arise. Can you come closer into the inner carcass so that God can begin to discuss important things? Deep things of the kingdom begin to give you templates of the next thing to do for him. 